Hi there, kids. I'm Dark Minded Sith, and welcome back to Let's Run Away from the Flibbits because we don't have enough Wonder Wings. And welcome back to Let's Miss a Note. Are you kidding? Jeez. Anyway, what we got? Oh, my feet are so numb and cold. My feet have become so numb, I can't feel the. Okay, enough of that. Jeez. I'm singing a song that's probably used on like every AMV known to man. Ugh, right behind in the end. Anyway, so we slam our butt on his feet here. For some reason, he likes that. That's a bit better. Yeah, I don't really see how slamming Kazooie on your feet will help you, but I think that'd be kind of painful, actually. But I don't really think I want big beaks pounded on my feet, but yeah, that's just me. Anyway, when you do that to all four, he vomits a jiggy. Mmm, tank tub's warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Yeah, sure. I would sort of want it to be a little maybe sanitized first, but whatever. Alright, here's our orange Jinjo. If you look over there, you'll notice the Croctus is not there. It actually appeared there last video, but it's not there now. This is actually a previous recording. This particular part was going to be in the last video, but the thing that I'm about to do inside here, I knew I would not ha be able to do in time. So I figured I would just save this for the next video. I don't really understand how this place works. I mean, the way the, this inside looks, it indicates like this is inside of his shell. But we didn't really go inside of his shell. We went inside of his mouth. So technically, wouldn't this just be like his intestines and stuff? Well, anyway, now we get to this part with the turtle choir. And this is going to require some memory. So Nintendo Capri Sun actually had a similar method. Uh, the best way to memorize each of these is you have to pound them in a certain order. So give each circle a number. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, and then that's six. And I'll demonstrate that more in a second. So, quiet please, the famous Tim the Choir will now perform my latest work. Alright, let's hear this. It's going to be great. Okay, that's three, that's two, that's five. Bed short, isn't it, shell boy? Well, see, copy what you just heard from lesson one. Alright, so basically what I did was I gave each circle its own number. So I gave this number three, so that's three. This is two, that's two. And this one's five. And that seems a little confusing, but I'll demonstrate it more. Mm, not too bad. Try lesson two. Okay, so what do we have? Which numbers? That's one. That's number two. That's number five. That's number six. And that's number one. So if you give a number to each circle, when the turtle sings, just focus more on its number than you do with its color and all that. So that's five. That may be confusing to some people, but I mean, it works for some and not for others. All of our memories... Memories... Me I, <laughs> sounds like I'm saying memories. But memories work different. Ah, Splendid, you just need one more. Lesson. Okay. Thanks. Bueller. Bueller. Alright, so we have four, five... Six, five, four, six, five. Wow, we got a really easy one there. I got really lucky there. Golly, that's not going to be very helpful to people who are struggling on this part, but... Now, I will honestly say I, I did actually write the numbers down <laughs> as I was doing this, but whatever. You know, I mean, as long as I'm not using cheat codes or something. Oh, noob, you wrote the numbers down. Shut up. Memory is difficult, okay? Magnificent, a true masterpiece here. Take this trinket I found earlier. Okay, I'll gladly take that. Take, take that tank tub, or no, your tip tub. I'm gonna take your mumbo skull also. Sorry, there is nothing more I can teach you. Oh, oh Hey! Hey, stop it! I wanna get that. I'm not only gonna... Well, thanks for bouncing me into the jiggy. Jeez. I danced a jig after getting the jiggy. Why did I never think of that? Alright, that's the next mumbo. Uh, mumbo? No. That's the next extra honeycomb piece. Nothing more you can teach me. Are you kidding me? You can teach me a lot. You can teach me how you turtles live for like a hundred years. You can teach me uh, how you guys breathe through your butts. Yeah, that's right. Turtles can breathe through their butts, by the way. <laughs> Does that mean they have butt breath? <laughs> yeah, so funny. Alright, this is our last Croctus. Or as it should be. Come on. Come on. Come on! Come on! Jeez! Do it! Jeez, 
Thank you. Jeez. It took nine years. Not leave. The King Zora could have moved by now. <laughs> All right. Making some progress. Cheeky number six. And regaining some health. All right. See you later, turtles. I like turtles. Oh, jeez. That guy's going to have sore throat if he keeps his mouth open like that. Now, I think I'm going to take a risk and actually fight the Flibbits here, because apparently I was wrong last video, and I included an annotation about this, but you can actually defeat the Flibbits using the rat -tat rap and other stuff. It's just kind of hard to do. When I tried to do it that way, I just could not do anything. I just screwed up. Rob, you're too tough for us. Rob, you're tough for us. Go. Yeah. God, that was some bad voice acting, wasn't it? I'm just going to get that. I could have saved... Uh, you do actually have a transformation in this level. I could have just got the jiggy when I had the transformation. But, you know, then it would cancel the dance. And You know, I was I was kind of stupid to do that in Mumbo's Mountain. I'm surprised I didn't get flooded with comments like, you know, oh god, that thing's staring at me. Um, I'm surprised people didn't flood me with comments like, dude, quit getting the jiggies with the termite. We don't get to see the awesome dance. You know, people love to see that dance. And it's better than the one in Mario Galaxy. <laughs> anyway. Alright, let's go through this maze of log cabins, walls ish stuff. Alright, hopefully I won't miss a note this time. I remember my original Let's Play of this. There was a note I actually missed in here because at the time I was using my built in mic, I had to position my laptop at an angle and I couldn't see it clearly. So I missed a note there. I didn't realize it until I, until I was watching the video back. And I thought, oh my god, I actually missed a freaking note there. And I think I got like three comments like, you missed a note. Uh, Alright, now it's time for this jiggy. And this jiggy is a whole big box of fun. Ah, that seems simple. Nah, too easy. You got ten seconds to get it and you have to walk across this skinny little thing. Which is about as skinny as my legs. That's right. Alright, yay, the dance. <laughs> Eat it. Jeez, Kazooie must be fat by now. Especially, I don't know if these Jiggies are high in cholesterol or what, but I'm telling you, Kazooie's going to gain like 200 pounds by the end of this game. Alright, more notes, more maze. This is amazing. No, I'm not making that joke. I'm not doing it. There's Mumbo's hut. Finally. What do you got back here? A Mumbo token. Cool. Jeez. Alright, finally. Yeah, it's best to uh, save the transformation for last, or at least cl as close to last as possible. Because you don't want to be going to his hut back and forth. You know, because then it's just kind of, seems like a, kind of a waste of time to keep doing that. That's our next extra honeycomb piece. Alright, ten mumbo tokens. What do we got here? It goes up five each time. So. Oh, crikey! It's a crocodile, mate! Wait, mumbo need new boots. Only. Oh, cool, there's a mumbo token right behind him. Jeez. Golly, this, this would be like if you this would be like if you went to a restaurant to eat and you found like two dollars just lying on the floor near the cash register or something. Yeah, and I would find gold feathers right after the flibbit fight. I would. Holy snap. I'm a crocodile. That's amazing. Now the advantage of the crocodile is that you can actually attack. This is one of the few transformations in the game. In fact, I think. Is this I think this is the only transformation in the game where you can actually uh, attack. Of course, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that because then people are going to leave spoilers in the comments. Alright, I'm going to do a couple things here. A lot of these things here are very long awaited because all this crap here lying around the swamp we couldn't get yet. And it was all staring us in the face. Yeah, I see you, purple Jinjo. We're finally going to get you. Wait, how... How does that Jinjo know that I'm Banjo and Kazooie? I mean, doesn't wouldn't that Jinjo just think I'm a regular crocodile? He's actually the Jinjo's act like cheering for me to come to it. But I mean, I know I have the backpack and all. I guess that kind of gives it away. But I mean, you'd think it the Jinjo would actually be freaked out. But now we can get a couple of these notes. I'm coming, Jinjo. I'll finally save you. I'll save your life. Which, technically, I'm not really saving your life. You could have just went away. But. Nine jiggies and another sound note. Okay. Sound I always call those sound notes. Why do I always do that? They're notes. They're just notes. Okay. 
Jeez, stop calling them sound nodes. That's an unnecessary adjective. You don't need that. Jerk. Anyway. Alright, let's go inside this snout. Okay. Go inside this oozing nostril. Ugh. Oh, crocodile boogers. Ugh. And these should be the last few notes. And then that'll be everything in this level. Oh, mumble token, cool. That'll be everything. Alright, everything in this level except for one last jiggy. What could it be? 